Hi guys, Midge Fitter Al here, and today I'll be doing another kit bash video. I will potentially put painting again. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't actually. I'm recording this before the actual video, so yeah. What I'm going to do is take this guy, <clears throat> the Primaris Chaplain. Now I've always seen this model as more either the old school Overwatch Reaper, which was an iconic character for me when I used to play. Yes, little me. Uh, but yeah. But I've also seen, I've always thought he looked a lot like, well, this particular character. A.K.A. the Grim Reaper, or Grim Reaper, depending on where you're from. So, I'm planning on doing a Grim Reaper Chaplain Kit Bash. Instead of a Crosius Cr and Bl Bolt Gun, or Bolt Pistol, it will be a Scythe and potentially another bl Bolt Pistol. Or something else. I'm not exactly sure. Again, I'm still only I'm recording this beforehand. Alright. Also, I have a few bits that are still coming in as this video is being recorded. Because I couldn't wait. So, let's get straight into it. With this Primaris Chaplain, I start the kit bash. It starts with me removing the bits from the sprue, which is the main component, which is the main body, arms, shoulder pads, and head of parts, along with the extra details that come with the model. I use every bit of this kit, along with a few extra parts. But the main kit bash is literally just the whole is just this body with an extra with a special paint job. I remove the Crozius knowing that I'm going to use it for a bit different purpose, which is as you can see from the thumbnail, his weapon. His main weapon, I'm going to say, which uses, equivalates this power hammer here. Or the thunder hammer. I believe it's a thunder hammer. But I just call it a power hammer since it works that way. To make a large scythe. As I'm going for a Grim Reaper aesthetic for this build, I thought he was the most appropriate tool, well, weapon for it. Creating a power scythe. Or whatever the. Um, I believe his name is Mordreus. I always forget. I always am horrible with names. The um, Death Company, the Plague Marine, Chapter Master or War Boss or whatever he is. I'm horrible with names. I can never remember them. But his bodyguards have scythes. I didn't use those because well, one, it'd it'd be a nightmare trying to fix them. So I went for a more sculpting approach. So I hope it worked out. In the end, it it worked out quite well due to how I did it. Should probably put some blood stains on it though, but I will probably use blood for blood code for that and do it off camera because I forgot to do it on video. Attaching the scythe head was. Pretty straightforward, just stick it on with some super glue, and that was it. Then I attached these skulls to the sides of the side to get a bit more def definition and more bit more detail, make it a bit more demon esque or chaosy, I guess you could say. I could have gone about this crozier situation a lot better. I probably should have just taken off the um. Taken the whole hand that Crozier's hand off and replaced it with the power hammer hand so they were already attached and just removed the bottom one. But I went for the more tedious approach, which I deeply regret doing, but already done it so I can't change it now. I do not remember where I found the extra extension to the handle was. I genuinely have no clue where I found that. It was lying in my bits box, I think. If not, 
I have no clue. So, yeah. But I do try my best to make sure this bit fits in properly, and I did spend a long time poking and potting at it to make sure it fit. Which it did in the end. So, it's just a slightly... This, it's just slightly wonky at the bottom because I can't get straight for over the life of me. I do take my time with this bit, and the head sort of works, and it works in the long run. I like it, I'm, I'm quite happy with his pose. I probably could have made the scythe a bit longer so it was sitting on the ground or on his foot. But I didn't. Missed opportunity, but it does look cool that he's holding his scythe up off the ground. Like he's displaying it to the others as a warning, so that kind of looks cool. I do use a particular set of possessed demon wings. I should have probably done a little bit of extra cutting to them to make them fit onto a Primaris backpack. I didn't. Should have, but didn't. But they look okay. -ish. They work somewhat. They would have look, probably looked a lot better if I did the extra work and put them onto a Primaris backpack, but I didn't, so we'll look past that for now. If I'm going to do another one of these, I would 100% do with, with a... um. Primaris backpack, but here are the demon wings. They're just possessed demon wings from like I can't remember what kit I bought these on. Um, I bought these online, so I mean, yeah, the size of them would work. It's just I would have to cut off a fair bit. So, but in the end, I just opted out of it and just stuck them on because, well, one, it would be a nightmare to try and put them on, even though I could probably do it really well. Also, apologies for the ex my camera lens. It got really dirty when I dropped my phone. So, apologies. After priming the models black, I get hit them with a with a light white zenithal highlight to give them a bit more color. That even though it doesn't really show through after the paint jobs, it's all right. Army Painter Skeleton Bull Army Painter Banshee Brow Citadel Technical Blood for the Blood Guard Citadel Base, Corn Red.
Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Blood Homemade Black Contrast 90% to 10% Majority Black Paint Citadel Base Iron Warriors Army Painter Greedy Gold Homemade Black Contrast 90% to 10% Majority Black Paint Citadel Base, Iron Warriors. Army Painter, Greedy Gold. Citadel Base, Corn Red. Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Blood Citadel Base Rhinox Hide
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And while you're doing it, don't forget to hit, forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye!